Okay, so I just paid my cable for the next year. 15,300 baht. Gotta have it. What's up guys, it's Greeny. And just got my tax bill for the year for my condo. Paid it online, they give you the little QR code. Go on my little Bangkok bank banking app and boom, hit the QR code, pay my taxes for the year. So taxes, my first year in the condo, how much were they? 550 baht, so about 15 bucks US for a year for property tax in Thailand. Not too shabby, but in this video I wanna talk about, was this a mistake or did I do the right thing and buy a condo? It's been one year. Today on Facebook, I just happened to see a thread talking about if it's a good idea to buy a condo. The gentleman said, uh, is it easy or hard for a friend to buy a condo in Thailand? And you know, instead of just saying yes or no or explaining the process, people had to chime in, stupid idea, this and that. This is what some of the people said. No, a simple process, make sure you buy one that's already built. I agree with that one. Somebody says, no, don't buy. Somebody says, I want to buy one for a girl I met on Bangalore Road for her and her sick buffalo. So, you know, there's always smart ass comments in here. If you have a serious question, don't ask a Facebook group about it. Another guy says, rent in capital letters. Easy to buy, but why would you? Not a good investment, far better to rent. Another guy, far safer to rent. One guy says, buy, a moderator. So a moderator, he probably lives here. The old rule, buy in your home country, rent in Thailand. And if somebody says, yes, that's very true. Yep, that's what we do. 100% correct. The costs alone, rent versus buy, strongly favor renting. Throw in foreign country ownership risks and it's a terrible investment. Another guy kissing his money goodbye. You can buy it, you just won't own it. Not difficult to buy at all. Simply millions of them out there. They are unsellable. Difficult to resell. Yes, don't expect to ever see your money back, house, land, or condo. If you marry the wrong Thai girl, it's buy condo. Buying, you'll need a certain kind of visa. You can own a condo outright. A smart way to do is buy through an enduring trust. That way it's impossible for somebody to swindle it from you. I don't know what that's about. If you buy a freehold in a foreign name, it's your condo. Somebody says the simple answer is no. And then the smartest advice I saw at the very end, which kind of I think sums it up for me, is a lot of specialists on here. If you like to stay here and want to make it your home, buy something and make it your home. Make it a nice place to live. But if you have no money, stay in an old dark condo and survive. Waiting for comments. So if I listened to the Facebook experts, I never would have bought a condo. Glad I did. It was a good investment, I feel. I would have lost my ass in the stock market over the last year, so I'm sitting pretty good there, although I still lost my ass in the stock market. Hopefully it'll rebound. As long as you don't sell, I think you're okay, right? Isn't that what they say? So when I initially bought my condo, I did two kind of different videos. One about should I buy or rent, and another one is kind of going over the process of buying a condo in Thailand. And actually, most of the comments were positive, but I did get a lot of comments that were negative, similar to the ones I just read you on Facebook. A lot of them were like, you should never buy in Thailand, never buy something abroad, it's not a safe investment. But I think the number one negative, and it's not really a negative, but the number one theme against buying the condo is that your money could go much farther in other places. So a lot of people said, just invest in the market, invest in the S&P, invest in this, invest in that. Well, let me tell you, it's a good idea to diversify. I already have money invested in stocks. I had some other money that I wanted to buy some more real estate with. And I had looked in America, prices were just way overinflated. They still are in America. So I decided the prices were a little deflated in Thailand due to the uh, current situation. That was a year ago. And in the last year, things have really turned around. How is this obnoxious bird gonna come over here and bug the shit out of me? Look at this. Look at these. Right, like it's totally quiet on my balcony. I start doing a video and these nitwits come over here. Just get out of here. I'm doing a video. Come on guys, go. 
Anyways, let me try to get back on point. I already forgot where I was. Like, it was quiet out here the whole time, and as soon as I sit down, they come over here and just start making noise. These birds are always hanging out here. They make my cat go crazy. Anyways, as I was saying, great idea to diversify. Um, I wanted to buy another condo in America. It was just overinflated. You know, the market was depressed here. So I bought the condo a year ago. Had I taken my money and listened to some of the people that said, you know, invest in this, mutual funds, S&P, this and that. I've lost my ass in the last year in the market. So at least this this uh, investment is, you know, status quo. And actually, there's been a few condos that have sold recently in my complex, and they're actually a little bit above what, what they were asking a year ago, what the same size unit was going for. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think that if I were to go to sell right now, now maybe I'd have to pay some property fees, you know, or some transfer fees or an agent fee you know maybe maybe I break even maybe I wouldn't but uh, I think I'd make a little bit right now so so I feel like it's been a really good investment plus I really enjoy living here I enjoy the pool I enjoy walking down to the beach I enjoy the neighborhood for me it's been a very healthy move if I was still living in central Pattaya now that the bars are back open and everything I'd be eating way too much foraying food. I'd be probably drinking too much, hanging out too much. My girlfriend, Fi, she'd probably be pissed at me all the time. <laughs> and uh, here, I'm happy. I've lost 20 pounds, you know, since last year. And, you know, eating healthier, eating mostly Thai food. Everything's so fresh. Uh, you know, Fi says, oh, there's no MSG in that. There's MSG in that. So I kind of try to order some, you know, healthy fresh food, mostly chicken and vegetables. That's what I mostly eat. But uh, it's been a good year for me, I think. You know, just, you know, check it out, guys. Look at this. This is what I look out to every day. I mean, I think they took Putin's cruise ship and, and they're perking it out here right now. Somebody's enjoying it because that's a huge cruise ship out there. I don't know if you can see it. It's a yacht crew. It looks like a cruise ship, but I think it's somebody's yacht. But it's huge. But anyways... Really enjoying it out here. Uh, I'd say that if you're going to be somewhere, you know, it's an individual decision. Everybody's got to make their own decision. You want to rent, you want to buy. But I'm kind of, my short-term, long-term plan, like I'm kind of on a 10-year plan here, I think. And uh, I think I'm going to, it's been one year, so I think I got nine more years. I'll keep the condo. I'll be 65. Maybe I'll base a little bit more out of America then when it comes to the Medicare and different things like that. But for 10 years... I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped up about having this as my central base. I'm close to the uh, Rayong Airport down here. I just booked a flight. Sunday I'm going to head down to uh, Koh Samui, Koh Penyan, and make a few videos down there. It's going to take me 15 minutes to get to the airport. And uh, I'm going to fly right to Koh Samui, spend a the night there, take a boat over to Koh Penyan and uh, spend a few days there. And uh, maybe I'll have some good videos from there. I don't know. But... Like 20 minutes to the airport, it's just so convenient. I'm so happy about this location. Anyways, to sum it up, I think that if you're, you know, kind of in a long-term relationship here, if you're gonna get married or stay with the same person for a long time and you accumulate a lot of things, it's nice to have your own base, not have to worry about moving around a lot. I mean, some people do rent very long-term here and there's nothing against that. I mean, I definitely would have more money in the bank had I not bought the condo, but you know, I, 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 wanted a, I wanted a little investment. Let's get down to the nuts and bolts money. What have I spent in a year here in the condo on the condo? So like I said at the beginning, property taxes are nothing. I took my uh, association or maintenance fees, common fees, and I added my water bill and electric bill into that, divided it out by 12 months, and I'm averaging 7,500 baht a month on all those fees. So if you were to rent a condo, you're still going to be paying your water and electric. You know, that's like uh, 250 bucks a month or something like that. That's nothing. I'm so happy that they keep up this condo complex. I mean, every day they're checking the water in the pool. They do constant maintenance on the building. You know, they're out there right now uh, painting the rails, redoing the rails on every floor. They were starting to get a little, uh, paint was starting to peel on them a little bit. I had one issue in my unit where I had a little bit of water leaking from above a window and uh, it turned out it was like some flashing above or something but they they went into my wall 
they patched everything up. They went on the outside. They fixed where it was coming in, and uh, it didn't cost me a thing. You know, it's they were right. I mean, I told them, and like within an hour, the maintenance guy was in there tearing my roof apart, fixing it, put all the drywall back together, repainted, took care of it. Uh, the only major thing I've had to replace since I've been here, the air conditioner in my spare bedroom. The people I bought it from had just put in two new units in the uh, big one in the living room and one in the master bedroom. Uh, there was an older unit in the spare bedroom, which kind of started going. It was kind of hit and miss, so I wanted to replace it. I had some people coming to visit, and I can't remember. It was like four or 500 bucks for the unit, and it should have only been a few hundred dollars for installation. I think actually like six, how much was it going to be? Like 2,000 baht, like $60 US, but it turned out to be a lot more because I had to have, I'm on the fifth floor, and there's like no balcony where it goes. They had to move the location. Anyways, I had to get somebody in here with special equipment, and it was like the fourth person I had come take a look at it that was able to do it. They had to kind of be an expert at it, but um, you know, that's what happens sometimes. So that almost cost me as much as a unit, but no big deal. That was the only thing that really went wrong in the whole year I've been here. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want to see the original video from when I bought the condo, talking about buyer rent or the other condo about how to buy a condo in Thailand, I'll put them up here You know, so you can go back. Maybe you're new to the channel and didn't watch those videos. I'm going to post them up here. Make sure you check out those videos. Hopefully, they will be educational for you if you're considering buying a condo in Thailand or you know somebody that did or if you're renting thinking about it